welcome back to another episode of the Bad and the Bougie podcast. I am your host, Talani Baj, a.k.a. T. Baj, a.k.a. Mm-hmm. The Biggest Baj. And I'm here chilling with... Moe Abebe, also known as the goddess. Oh, goddess. Yeah. I am so excited about episode today. Girl, episode two, y'all. Mm-hmm. We got our first guest for the season. Mm. I like this How guy, How should Sha. we welcome him? He's a cool guy. He's been a vibe since he's been in mm, here, Sha. You know, I like his hair. You know, his pink. His pink. Sometimes those lights I'll see his eyes. You know, very mysterious. Mm. I think quite sexual too in his lyrics. <laughs> Who could that be? Have you mm. heard Red Flag? Yeah. Have you heard You Snapchat? saw the Red Flags, <laughs> baby. Mm. <laughs> uh-uh. He has three bodies of work under his belt. Mm. He's got two EPs, an amazing album. Yes. Okay, let me just, just let you know. Our first musician on the show as well. First, though. Mm-hmm. That's a big deal. That's a very big deal. Yeah. Introducing... <laughs> Ruga! Woo! <laughs> Welcome to the Bad and the Bougie podcast. So, Welcome, boo. I'm so privileged right now. Mm. Uh-huh. Being the first artist here, man. Uh-uh. Yeah. It's That's quite a- interesting that he's blown, boy. Mm. So you've blown as you're not here now. You've blown times like 10. Oh, <laughs> How are you feeling today? I feel good. Mm-hmm. I feel free. How's the energy? Fine. Yeah? Good. I love, I love being around women. Oh. How does it feel to be on the Bad and the Bougie podcast? Yeah, I like both of you. Uh-huh. So it feels mm. good. It feels good. Mm-hmm. This is the acting shy now. You are not. You are not like this. You are before. not like this off camera. See, oh. What's going on? Is it because of your okra water? <laughs> 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 he said it was okra water. It was what lemonade? But it looked like okra water. It looked like okra no, water. No, no, no. Just lemon and water. Okay. Mm. I'm trying to stay healthy this year. Oh, why? Why are you feeling a bit unhealthy as a 2021, 2020? <laughs> no, I just want to take it more seriously. Okay. Yeah. All right. You're so mysterious. Like when I think Ruga, I think mysterious, talented, and a great vocalist. Mm -hmm. Would you say you're intentional about being mysterious? No, that's just the way I am. That's how you... Mm. People that know me just know me. Mm -hmm. Not everyone knows me like that. Mm. You understand? So I don't go out... I'm always indoors. Yeah. I'm a Netflix and chill guy. Period. That's what you know I what like you say about do. Netflix and chill though? I, I actually like a Netflix and chill guy. Yeah, that I means like you like it. a guy that likes the fuck. I live like a tech oh, guy. What's wrong with that? You know the way these tech guys live? Uh-huh. That's the way I live. Mm. Okay. Yes. Well, so how what, do they live do? I, they're always on their laptop and things. Oh, okay. okay. And inside the house. Mm-hmm. I have everything set up in my house so I don't need to go out. Okay. Yeah. All right. I like that. Interesting. So <laughs> today's topic has to do with friendship. Mm. There's a very interesting sort of side to it, the ugly side of friendships. Mm-hmm. So I'm guessing like, you know, cutting off, um, like, you know, when do you decide to forgive? Yeah. Um, but like, I feel like for us to sort of like even just delve into the topic, mm-hmm. we've got to sort of establish, if you were to rate yourself as a friend, how high would you rate yourself? <laughs> do you think you're a good friend? <laughs> like... Like, you know, all those things, loyalty, all those things, you have it. No, I'm very loyal you. to my friends. Okay. And mo- like, the space I have right now, like, the circle I have right now, the friends I have right now are people that work with me. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, loyalty is key for me. Mm. I don't really have, like, outside friends like that. You understand? But, like, yeah. I'm a very loyal friend. I'm a very good friend. Mm-hmm. All right. So, what about in the industry? Sorry. Okay. In the industry? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a good friend. So do you have friends? Many friends in the industry? <laughs> Not many friends in the industry, but like, we're cool. Okay. So. What would you say is the key to a long-lasting relationship in the industry? Because we all know that some relationships are not real. Some is just like a work relationship and people, well, the fans would think is a real friendship. But like, what would you say is the key to a long-lasting friendship in the industry without envy, no jealousy, no nothing, no competition? Just, uh, I feel like all depends on the kind of person they are. Mm-hmm. Mm. Because if I'm not a type of person that is generally like envious mm-hmm. or that, like yes. I can't be envious of my fellow artists. I'll be pushing him to, you know, do good for himself and everything, wherever, where, no matter the stage I am in my life, in my music, whether I'm, I'm not really popping at that time mm-hmm. or um, I'm popping, you understand? I'm yeah. still going to like push him. It depends on the kind of person you are. As an individual. As an individual. So mm-hmm. there's no, there's no um, like manual to it. It's just basically depends on mm. who they are personally. Okay. Yeah. So do you think that there are cliques in the industry? Maybe. I don't know. 
Do you I've belong been, to any clique? I know. I'm, I'm a clique myself. Yeah, a clique He's yourself. a solo guy, man. <laughs> one man army. Lone Ranger. That's one thing. I'm, I'm a clique myself, no worries. I don't know why I just feel like, you know, like, you know, with the recent move with Afrobeats, you know how, like, lots of artists are sort of, like, traveling yeah. abroad, performing abroad. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people that claim to be friends that are artists, mm-hmm. it's, there seems to be, like, this shift that a lot of them that perform abroad, mm-hmm. that they are now friends. And mm-hmm. to me, it looks, like, aesthetically pleasing. I'm always like, hmm, are these guys really friends? friends? Or is it just because... You know why it has to be like that? Why? When artists from here meet each other outside the country, we have to we have to show each other courtesy. Mm, mm. Like there's some sort of unity. Yes, yes. Yeah, because like when we're standing together outside there, no one can touch us. No one can misbehave or anything. Mm-hmm. It's 100. Everyone mm. is supporting each other. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. so, so even if after the show, everybody say back, well, yeah, I know why. Like, <laughs> it's fine. What's your relationship status? Right now? Yeah, like, right now. Are you single? Are you married? Do you have kids? Baby mamas? What's going on? W-O-S. What does that be? Working on something. Ooh, what is it? That's, <laughs> That's a very nice response. It sounds actually. like like any movie song or something. <laughs> An album. Actually, uh, <laughs> is it? But it was developed here. Let me write that in down. It that, was developed on the bar and put it in podcast. It sounds like... Respect. Yeah. Royalties. I like that. <laughs> Please give it to us. W-S. Yeah, yeah. Working on something. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I like that. All right, so the things that you are working on, Sha mm-hmm. Sha, I'm sure you would maybe most likely describe them as situationships. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Some of them, like... <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on, baby. <laughs> Talk your truth now. Talk your truth. Are you shy? Yeah, well, but like, when I say working on something, I'm this year, I'm actually trying to, I'm not in search of love. Mm. I want to see if I can actually be committed to someone. Oh, you know, so I, I want like to see, that. I want to see if I can try. That's where I'm at right now. Oh, really? Would you, you say sure you're, you're not w- just saying it's because it's here? You sound like a red flag. Would you say mm. you're a walking red flag? Because we know that you're song. <laughs> you saw the red flags, baby. I, how do you expect a girl now with all the music you've dropped, everything, the way you perform you on still stage? Like you you not believe that the person saying, yes, like I believe guys. that. In a way, Sha. That's what I'm saying. It's not healthy. Women do kind they of like, like, like they, they are, You guys are always in denial, but you guys like someone that put in your place. So, so what do you ex- so what? Please explain. Explain further. What do you mean by girls explain. like toxic guys? Because they come back. First of all, what do you mean? They come. See, let me tell you. As a toxic, no, I'm not a toxic guy. Oh, oh, so, so, so what I'm saying now, yeah. <laughs> Most of the times, yeah. Mm-hmm. Being with a toxic guy or even a girl, yeah, it's very interesting because the good times are really good. Mm. But the bad times are really, really bad. bad. Yes, so when sir. you maybe there's a break right now, they'll be like, they'll miss oh, each other. They'll miss, miss it. They'll yeah. actually miss each other. Mm. Not like a boring guy that just okay, baby, and all of that. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah. like, and again, like they tend to come back because if they don't let you, each one, one, one is the like the alpha of everything. It's either the guy or the girl. Mm-hmm. As it. A toxic person, if a toxic person doesn't want to let you go, you're not going. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's it. Crazy. Mm. Someone you're in love with. Yeah? Mm. Yeah. You're not going. Mm-hmm. Simple. But what? I don't know. I think that with age, Sha, I me, mean, I disagree because the older I get. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I you, try to keep it with me. You mean a guy would tell me that I'm not going and I'm not going? I will go down even more reason. He doesn't have to tell you, madam. <laughs> what does that mean? He doesn't have to tell so you. So how, how would that? He how just would keeps showing say? up. With what? Gifts and money? He, no, apart from that, gifts and money and everything, he just keeps showing up. Just imagine like right now, I break up with a girl mm-hmm. and I go to a city in Berlin, I have a show. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And I pull up to her, but mm-hmm. well, she's actually in the, at the show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See me perform. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh, come on. Well, pussy wet. Is that what you're saying? Everywhere I go, splurge. Ah! <laughs> well, get that thing. Can I just say this seems like it's has actually happened? But that's like, a he's temporary. Speaking, he's speaking from experience. Forget that thing. Forget that thing. Is this from experience? Eh? From yeah. experience, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, so when this whole Omale thing happened, mm-hmm. I'm sure you are not necessarily like surprised. Do you think that was for real? Do you think it was a PR stunt? I don't know. You don't mm. want to talk about it? Huh? You don't want to talk about it? It happened, it happened. Nah. The girl... Well, huh? Have you had similar situations, situations I feel? No, me, I, I, I don't do that. I don't take people's girls on stage. Or I would just be like, whenever I'm bringing a girl on stage, I always ask, <laughs> nah, do you have a boyfriend? Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm kind of respectful. So do you think that was kind of disrespectful that he brought a girl uh, up 
a girl that had a boyfriend. Yeah, on that's stage. on her. It's not on him. Mm. Mm. So the blame is on her, not on O'Malley. Yeah, yeah. I agree too, actually. Like, how was that's, everybody supposed that's to know? On her. Let's just say it isn't a PR stunt. Oh, my lips saw her standing with a guy. Huh? I don't understand. Somebody's performing on stage. Do you think I'm performing on stage? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That must be her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me explain something to you. Yeah. yeah. In concerts, everyone is standing with each other. Exactly. And you're performing. You understand what I'm saying? Now? Like, he's, not, he's probably not seeing the guy. Cannot so be, I hardly to, see you guys at my show. To be 100%, Sha, uh, I, I, do, s- I do think it was a PR stunt. Me too. Initially, okay. when I saw it, I'm like, oh my God, why would he do that? But when I watch his other shows, I, I realized that he does the same routine. How did the girl know how to move her body the mm. same way? How did she know when to bend down? It was a PR mm. stunt. Mm. So I'm not even upset. I was upset at, with the Some baby. Some girls are first actually week. ready to do that. Type. The same I can't move. Believe. I'm, I'm t- let me explain something I can't believe, sure. Like, hey. for, for we artists. Yeah. Uh-uh, come it's probably on. different. You have seen my shows Explain now. now. Mm, I've seen your shows. Yeah. These girls, girls are always touching you on the show. Why? They He's always on. touching girls. Why? Why? Babes always touching you doing your own concerts. Why? What are you doing them. to them? Eh? What are you doing to them? <laughs> it be your music. It be your voice. <laughs> everyone is just... Me, my shows are like a big party. You understand mm. what I'm saying? Mm. So it's not like everyone is serious trying to form aesthetics, you know, all the kind of iconic mm. and all those type of things. Me, I'm just enjoying myself. Everyone is enjoying themselves. So mm. that's the way it is. But but why is it like... like this seems to be this recent shift, especially with you younger artists. Mm-hmm. You know, there seems to be this recent shift that you guys are kind of sexualizing your performances, especially when they are abroad. You would know they try out for a year like that. Because which Nigerian baby will come out? <laughs> Nigerian babies, like, they are too scared to be judged. Yes. You get, they will think like, mm, if I can't do this now, they will say, I'm an asha. Yeah, but answer the question, yes. Yeah. That's, that's just it. That's the main reason. Really? Yeah, life is easier out there. Mm-hmm. No, they just just enjoy themselves out there. Yeah, well, uh, everybody's guiding. Yeah. Let's go video you. <laughs> it's true, I mean, you. Go enter Everybody. my Insta blog. Go enter Insta. Everybody they guide, so yeah. It's true. It's so, true. talking about friendships, right? Yeah. I must say that I'm happy that you and Buju have reconciled. Yeah, yep. I know that when you guys had that temporary beef, like the whole industry kind of shook. Mm-hmm. And you did say some some funny things, mm-hmm. funny tweets that a lot of people were like, oh my God, this might be out of pocket. Mm-hmm. But loving the fact that you guys have decided to put some things aside and collaborate, I must say that that's very beautiful. Yeah. You guys have a song called Romeo Must Die. So yeah. let's give you a round of applause for that. Thanks. I don't know if that was a PR stunt or was that beef a PR stunt or was that real? Yes, was it? No, whatever I do is real. So, so the so beef was real. Stunt. Yeah, it was real. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Is okay. there anything that you regret? Do you regret saying certain mm-hmm. things? No, no. Even not for the beef, we won't be here actually, and it won't mm. be getting the buzz that it's getting now, the song and everything. But so like it has to happen. So people have to fight mm. to come together later. So, okay. Can you remember exactly where you were when you were writing those tweets? Those especially tweets, that, especially one particular one where you said, <laughs> "I have it here. Don't worry." <sighs> yes, please. <laughs> Get a solo hit, mm-hmm. then talk to me. Fatty bomb. Bomb, bomb. Huh? Ruga. I regret that one. I can never fight for How you. How would you say that about my friend, please? Like our friend. I'm your friend too now. Well, well he... Buja has been my friend since 2016, <laughs> so let me let me state that, okay? It's beautiful. So how did you feel? <laughs> my guy said, are you That's being beautiful. sarcastic or are you being real? Are you being real? I'm being sarcastic. About what? About the friendship about that they friendship. have now. Being real. Like, okay. That's beautiful. So how did you feel knowing that you guys are friends now? Do you feel bad that you had body shamed him? <sighs> Let me sip. Your yeah, okra juice. My okra juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel bad. Okay. Yes. So is there anything you would like to say publicly? No, way, I've said it to him. I you said it to him? him? So you guys are like best of friends now. We're good. We're very good. I love right? that. Like, you know, I'm, I'm so happy that you guys have reconciled. Mm-hmm. But what also is quite interesting for me is the fact that there seems to have been some sort of forgiveness, at least both ways. Mm-hmm. I always say, I know I've said it before now, that mm-hmm. me, if my friend calls me out on mm-hmm. social media, I don't think I would reconcile. I would reconcile. If your friend yes. is different. They weren't friends before we weren't now. Friends, friends so you guys before. were never friends. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but you know when he did make some of the tweets initially, it was mm-hmm. almost as if like, ah, but this guy will be coming up and be smiling with me. And then... Meanwhile, he feels this way. So to me, I sort of thought yeah. that maybe you guys were friends before. Everybody's cool in the industry. Everybody's smiling. Mm, that's everybody true. In the yeah. industry. So it's mm-hmm. a normal thing. True. Mm-hmm. Okay. All 
Mm. Love right. it for y'all. Love it for y'all. Romeo must die, mm. y'all. Make sure you guys stream Romeo must die on all streaming platforms. Romeo That's must right. Die. Lover boys must die. Lo- eh? No, so I not really want this song. I like my lover boys. boys. Who is Romeo? In fact, exactly, it's Romeo and lover boys. Who is that, Romeo? Is that, please, is that the, the point? If you guys can try to get me and Buju in the studio to uh, talk to you, talk with you guys, and then we will tell you. <laughs> now, wow. What kind of answer is that one? Please, 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 please. Ruka, please. I'm not feeling this. So, you're, you're, you're really from a tough crowd. Do you crowd. know who Romeo is? Who's Romeo? Who's Romeo? Who's Romeo? Who's Romeo? Tell us now. Ruka, who, tell us who Romeo is now. When I, when I, when I saw that do. title, I just remember that Lee Asha and... Uh, I'm thinking Romeo and Juliet. That's what I'm thinking. I just thought Romeo, uh, Ali, Ali as Romeo, but I'm like, hmm, okay. <laughs> All right, well. So let's even now just move even further into like maybe like friends with benefits, situationships, yeah, yeah. that type of stuff. Or even just relationships. Mm-hmm. If you had a friend that comes to you <laughs> and says that, ah, Ruga, I don't see that you're a babe, man. We want a guy. Uh-huh. No, sorry. That's you know. <laughs> you know if you saw your friend's mm-hmm. babe... <laughs> with another guy, yeah. would you go and tell him? I'll tell him. Uh, you would? Yes, 100%. So what about if he goes back to the girl? It's not, it's not my business. Whatever he does afterwards. No don't you think business. that friendship would be a bit awkward now? Me? I don't... What is he doing for me? Hmm. Mm. You're just my friend, my nigga. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> so you don't necessarily do, like, beneficial friendships. Is that what you're saying? Mm-mm. But on the female side, Yes. <laughs> Do you what benefits from a female? Do you have a lot of female friends? <laughs> do you have a lot of female friends? Yes, actually. Do you mix business with pleasure? Never, though. Never? Anyone that works with me, never. If you like, be fine as a uh, baby now. <laughs> uh-huh. But yeah, no. Thank you. Can you tell Dolani? What did Talani do, please? That, that's our situation. That was. Talani is convinced. You guys are toasting each other now. How are we toasting each other? I can feel the vibe. Nah, bro. I can feel the vibe, y'all, but. Like, my mouth is sealed. Ruga is Thank my you. baby. Now, so that's how it starts. Now, look at my baby. Like, you know, I'm in my 30s and Ruga is in his 20s. What does that mean? Ah, babe. age is nothing but a number. Yeah, but you know me, I like older guys. Now, so he, he, he doesn't act like he's young anyway. He doesn't. You don't act like you're young. I'm who I am. Yeah. <laughs> From his lyrics, I can tell that you're a very sexual person. How mm. how correct am I? Yes. You are? Mm-hmm. Hmm. So you engage in like threesomes, orgies, and hey, stuff? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I don't want my, my potential wife. No, you talk <laughs> sexual. Yeah, I, I don't want sexual wife. It's true. It's I don't true, want true. my. I don't want my potential wife or my children in the future. <laughs> you see this, no, no. I'm taking it. I love you. If you see this, I'm standing on business. Hmm. Okay. You mm. already answered my question. It's not about that. Sad, you already know the answer. I don't understand how you can make sexual music, but you're not a sexual person. Like I feel Stella like, B-B, hello, Stella come B-B. on. Stella B.B. looking pretty. Uh-huh. That Wee Wee song is so... I'm like, what was going on? Naughty what was going boy. on? Ah, boy. What's going on? That song is mad. So sexy. And the thing about that song, it blows up every like two months, three months mm-hmm. on TikTok. Wee mm. Wee. and Wee Wee. <laughs> it got me shows in Europe like crazy like. I'm still going back to Europe this year. God, it's good. Mm. Touring Europe this year, so okay. I'm enjoying myself. Well, I yeah. love that for you. So what's so 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 what's the what's the craziest thing that has happened to you whilst on tour from a <sighs> female perspective? <laughs> I'm sure craziest it's thing that a I'm fan, a female fan, has done. I'm sure it's crazy. even quote unquote worse than Omale, but we just didn't get to see it. What a female fan has done, or female fans, huh. maybe if you're into orgies and all those type of things. Is he not? He said he is not. I've never done an OG though, but like had a threesome. Yeah, definitely. Foursome. No threesome. Threesomes. Yeah, yeah. white and black. I just, I like to mix the race. Ah! <laughs> it's, called, it's called Oreo. That's an Oreo. I like it's a racial. It's a racial OG. Oreo. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's hilarious okay mm-hmm. nice 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 okay so let's even just go back to you know the whole friendship um mm-hmm. topic um would you say yeah, she's that still amazed by what i just said yes <laughs> i am I, I didn't think you were gonna open up and i must say i'm impressed thank you keep it up i told you, you more would. of that energy i, I like you. it i told you, you would. I, I like that you would. so let's even go back to the whole friendship topic do you think that older people because i feel like i've noticed that that there's a clear difference between Men and women, most especially mm. when it comes to them being friends with older people and vice versa. Yeah. Do you think that, you know, an older guy could be 
good, very good friends with a younger guy. Do you think that's possible? That's how my life has always been. You've mm-hmm. always had older people. Like, that... even when I, I went to a boarding school, yeah? Mm. And when I started GS1, I was chilling with SS3 students. Mm. That made some teachers look at me like, who is this boy that is mm-hmm. chilling with these boys that don't even have respect for us, the teachers, you understand? Mm-hmm. So I've always been like that because I don't know, but I just tend to meet people that are older than me. And they mm-hmm. vibe me because of, they will say that the way I talk is like older than my age yes. and everything. So they like talking with me, you understand? So I get many old people seek it from my hand. Secrets. I'm, keep, I'm keeping. Okay, so, so, so old people called. tell you a lot of their own. Yes. So do you think they're telling you that their own secrets, quote unquote, so that what you can give them advice or so that you can learn from also, them? Also, give advice and learn. Mm. Anybody can give you advice. I agree. I agree. Mm-hmm. What's one thing you would say that you you wish you would have known before you entered the industry? I like that. I like how he scratched his head. <laughs> He's yeah. like, ooh, where did that come from? <laughs> I've never thought about this thing because mm-hmm. me, I've just been moving, vibes. just vibes. Mm-hmm. So I don't know, honestly. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's anything I think I should have known. Mm-hmm. I think everything I know, I'm supposed to know it when I'm supposed to know it. So, yeah, timing, timing yeah, is timing, what it is. Right. So yeah. what is the biggest lesson you've learned about being in the industry? Biggest lesson I've learned about being in the industry, first of all, is actually staying true to yourself because... A lot of things will want to make you change. So mm-hmm. just don't, don't stop Tell being you. Tell me. Yes. Don't stop being you. Mm. Don't stop being you. Like, you know what? Like Jay-Z said, um, show up until they give you your flowers or whatever. Real talk, real talk, <laughs> so, real yeah. So, yes. Just. So, so, so do you think that maybe any time that you've sort of like ranted or you've, you know, just said things that maybe, quote unquote, maybe your team will call you back and be like, I wish you didn't say this. I wish you didn't say this. Mm-hmm. You always know? do that. Did yeah. you? <laughs> Do they handle your page now or you still handle your page? Okay, so most of the times, if I'm in a flight that doesn't have Wi-Fi so, so, and, I, and I need to post, <laughs> uh-huh. I have someone that posts for okay. me. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Hmm. But the person, I don't know, the person, you, you they check my thing. <laughs> you they check them? You they check them? Eh? Do they ever delete your tweets? Never. No. Never? No. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I'm actually going to ask. Like, you know, like, whilst you're we'll actually uh-huh. doing these rants. We'll go box each other. Okay, but then whenever you do say things that you're not necessarily supposed to say, there's like yeah, a full... Yeah, there's, yeah, there's, there's a full... There's a, there's a, family meeting. Mm-hmm. Ruga. <laughs> yes, they'll do that to me, yeah. Did they give you advice before you came on the show? Yeah. Did they, did they, did they warn you before they came, came on the show? Mm-hmm. Now, maybe they warn them, say, hey, <laughs> say, see these two ladies. <laughs> And I go put it for India <laughs> mm. Make sure. Mm. <laughs> Make sure say mm. yeah, my best interest at heart. Yes, I'm, sure, I'm sure you. We just want you to have fun on the show now. I don't know about telling anybody, but I know you. What, have do, what do you mean? I, know. So, I so, want so, you to have a good time. I'm a sweet babe. Sweet girl. Sweet girl, too bad. I know you are sweet. I am. But I know she has my best answer, huh? Because clearly she's your friend. Baby, now. baby, baby. When now, I tell now, you that now, these people, people, these people have now. something going people on. People are thinking more than what I'm saying. Is. Nothing is going on, no. Hey, God. <laughs> I, I think so. I'm just going on. <laughs> so but, out of all the... So sorry to interrupt no, no, you. Okay. Go, go, go. Out of all the songs that you've released, right? Yeah, yeah. Which one would you say is your favorite one and why? Like, is there a story behind it? <sighs> My questions are tough. Oh. It ah, seems. I'm See thinking. What I say, I say about this woman? I'm so sorry. I'm what did you say about this woman? What did you say about her though? She, she just... You said she, about, what you said about she, was off camera. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so say it's in front of the camera. Oh, <laughs> she, she prepared God. for me. She prepared for me. But let me... Okay. I think I love... I hardly listen to my songs though. Hmm. So maybe if I mistakenly just hear it again, I'm like, wow. Wow. So it's always a wow. It's not like a. I think the one, the one I'm better. loving right now uh-huh. is still Red Flags. You yes. really? Like, I love Red Flags yes. too. Yes. I think it's I was, very I was relatable. In, I, was, I was in a very, I was in a space when I wrote that song. So mm-hmm. was it because you can't relate? It's because you're a toxic guy. Yes, I was. You were toxic. You were or you are. I was. So it's the past tense. Twenty twenty four. I'm changed. So the people really changed. Mm-hmm. People change. Mm, do you believe people change, Tolani? What are some toxic traits that you have? That's the what? question. Do you oh, think people so change? Yeah, I think people can evolve. People can mm-hmm. like improve and be, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, refined. Yes. Okay. All the way changed, I don't know, but you can be improved. That's okay. what I believe, yeah. Right. You're going to say something, my love. What was I about to say? I don't remember. What was I about to say? 
toxic traits. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Since you, I know you've said a couple of times that you're toxic, right? What are some of your toxic traits? <sighs> yeah, plenty. I can't, I'm trying give to us like five now. Nah. No, 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 no. I'll just look for one. Yeah, give, one us, very... give us three. Three is fair. Mm. You know, I like Nari. Me, I have like, my love span, 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 span is very, very short. Mm-hmm. Mm. So like, I get tired easily. Bored. Bored and everything. It just tires me easily. And I think it's because of the kind of person I am, because of being an artist, mm. always on the move mm. and everything. So the light of the relationship just dims. And I'm like, I'm not feeling this anymore. It's very mm. short mm. for me. Jesus. Like I can't. Blood of Jesus. How short is short? I rebuke. Huh? Hey, so sorry. Oh, I, come down. I rebuke. That is this is reminding you of something. Yes. <laughs> Let's say two, <laughs> three months. Him. Two, three months. Yes. So what, you switch situationships two, three months. Every three, every two, three months. So you're saying? No, no, no. <laughs> Go you like, think I so? Think. It's Do you have dry spells? What's those dry spells? Like nobody. I think it's out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. If you are always on the it move, happens. Yeah, if you are always on the move, true. you see different that's women. It. So the babe that is. But not, me, I try. I'm this type of guy that will stay on the call. You know, it's not enough. Sometimes I'm I'm on the stay on the call. I'll even sleep on the call with you. That's the way. I Only am. for two to three months, like you it's mentioned. Sweet. Exactly. So it's not long enough. As you're on the phone, you are seeing another pretty woman. There's somebody else that that will replace in three months' time. Oh my life. So in a year, <laughs> in a year, like how how long, like how long, are you gone during the year for tour? How long? Mm-hmm. Ah, maybe let's say like half of the year or even more than half. Oh. It breaks. It so breaks. what happens? So imagine if you're now dating someone now, mm-hmm. and you're now on tour. What happens? Oh my. Would you be okay with her cheating? Would you be okay if you now maybe by mistake find out that your guy? Was cheating with her. Based on this like conversation how would you, now, how would you I can see how it doesn't make sense for artists to be in a relationship, being on tour. I agree. Based on this conversation, That's I can see why. why. He hasn't even answered yet, so. So why sorry, you will still talk, but like, damn. If you're always away, what's the point of being in a relationship? For real. For me, like, like, let's say, me, I'll take a, my girl on tour with me, though. Oh. Have you done that before? I've done that, yeah. How long was the tour? Like one month and she was with me. How is that it Just one month. Why did yeah. you not take her for the six months? This six months you said you're yeah, away for. <laughs> no, no, no. But like, uh, she, she has work that she's oh, doing. That's true. So, so she's I not a jobless girl. You understand? Know, I don't be jobless. Yes, girl ladies, her. don't uh, be jobless. Uh, I know they. they. Ha! Ha! I know they. No. Uh, jobless girl. <laughs> you must date a girl that's at least doing yes, something. I yes. Mean. Yes. Even if you're making, but 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 you must be making more money than her. You cannot date a girl that you're making, making more no, money. I'm than making you. more money than her. Definitely. Can boy. you date somebody that's making more money than you? I would date. Sugar boy. <laughs> Give me sugar boy. I like that. I, okay, I like that. I like that. I like that. I actually like seeing sugar boys because there's always this. Are you, wait, pause. Is he a sugar boy? Are you a sugar boy? <laughs> I've never been a sugar boy. Would you like to be a sugar boy? If I see the chance. If I see the chance, I love it. Uh-huh. Yeah, I like that for you, Jerry. Uh-uh. <laughs> I, like, I, like, I, mean, I like it when I see guys <laughs> actually doing sugar boy because it's not always about the girl. It's not. Right? Yes, no. Thank you so much. That's right. How much is your bank account? <laughs> 20. <laughs> Wait. I'm just curious. So you think he will tell us? No, he wouldn't, but like he can give us a range. Huh? Uh-huh. You want to check? Uh, let's check. Show it. us now. Yeah. Show us now. Show us your bank. I don't think you no, would. No, no, just no. Like, at least just one of your bank apps now. It's, it's embarrassing. Ah! It's too much money? Too much or too little? Lagos don't enter. I don't know, but it's embarrassing. I'm sure it's not. Ah, without it's your streaming. Money. Without your streaming money. Ah, ah, it can't be. Yeah, on your own lane. Was it not you that when I went down to the library, you gave me, I think, was it not even two bottles of, um, of that time, Ace of Spades? Now. That time, money day. <laughs> How come money no day now? <laughs> Nigeria happened. Nigeria is happening to everybody, Shah. Everybody, that's what I'm saying. I think God Shah earning in dollars, though. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> See, I know I'm mates. Well, you're not. You're I actually like not. We can have fun now. You're always forgetting your girl, Shah. I don't like that. <laughs> Get another way. Well. So, seeing as we're still talking about friendships, mm. what's the one thing that you feel you just can't forgive? Because, like now, as I said, I was very surprised, honestly, that two of you, that's you and Buju, are able to yeah. sort of, you know, mend fences and mm-hmm. move on. Because I was like, ah, 
Somebody call somebody fancy, but somebody call somebody you don't have enough money. Somebody call somebody you don't have like you get like I just, it just seemed like there was no redemption. But I'm so glad that it happened. So what's the one thing that you feel like lie you cannot forgive? It's honesty. Just honesty. Yeah. Okay. I don't. If you're my friend, just tell me as it is, mm. how it is. If we can find a way around <laughs> it. But if you are lying and I find out by myself. <laughs> hey, real. Hello, yeah. guys. What about you, Tony? Ah, the moment I feel like you can kill me, I'm dead. Like, if I feel like you are envious of me mm. or, like, just mostly envy, really, because I'm very big on energy, right? And the moment I'm not comfortable around you anymore, the moment I feel like I shouldn't be able to say, I shouldn't be saying certain things around you, that's why I just dead it. I'm just mm. like, let me run because if I'm feeling this way, you damn near can't kill me. And I'm an extreme person, right? I'm either extremely right or I'm extremely wrong. So if I'm wrong, I'm going to be wrong. Mm. I'm just going to go with my intuition. For me, guys, there are actually two things I can't um, forgive. One is if you call me out on social media. Mio! I can call you out too. And that's real. Mm-hmm. And yes, I do admit it's toxic. But if you retaliate, you you now respond. Mm-hmm. I don't think we could be friends. That's one. Well, you called your friend out. Uh, was she friend? The, the wait, wait, who, who are we talking about? Who? Who do you call out? No, no, but she's saying that she can call the person out if the person retaliates. <laughs> oh, wait, pause. Come what? on. What's more? That's what I'm saying. Like, I admit, I, I, no, 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 no. Toxic. I admit it's toxic. I'm Very telling toxic. you, it's toxic. And it's something I'm working on. Mm-hmm. And I think I have actually worked on. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying that. Like, you know how there's some things that you can do, but you cannot handle? Does that make sense? Okay. That's a so hypocrite. I don't yeah, know. I'm not. I'm not a hypocrite. So but you, in this situation, it's okay yes. for you to call out a friend out on social media. I don't media. think it's okay, but mm-hmm. all I'm just saying is that it's almost like if it happens, I would almost be like I, I would rather be the person that yes, I did bad, so I would I would rather take that. But if wanna, both of us, no. nah, I can't. Let's just back this. It don't work and, like that. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work like that. As I said, <laughs> it's toxic. Very toxic. And I admit. Yeah. Uh-uh, is it not good to at least admit what yeah. accountability? About? Thank you. I like that. So yes. Now the second one, um, if you steal from me in all ways, whether mm. business wise, whether you borrow something, you don't tell me. Yeah, that one is crazy too. Like, uh, and I feel like that, yeah. that happened to me a lot when I was much younger. That person can kill you, Sha. Yeah, I feel like, you know. Yes. Or I hate those ones that maybe will beg you for money. Mm-hmm. The way you ask them, they come they vex. Ask, Why are you vexing? Ask what for your money back? Yes. Or what? Okay. Why are you vexing? Meanwhile, funny enough, the crazy thing is that they told me the day that they would give it to me. They please, borrow me this money. I'll give it to you on Friday. Then you're not angry Actually, when I'm asking you on Saturday. I don't, I don't even borrow my friend's money, man. I I'd rather just give you, like, I just know, I'll give you an amount where I know that, okay, I'm comfortable and you don't have to give it to me back, right? Yeah, if you ask me for yes. 100K, yeah, if you ask for 100K, yes. I can give you 50K. I'll yeah. say, you know what, keep the 50K. Yes. You don't have to give it back. So that 100K, one I'll give you 100K. Learned, um, you know, later on in life. But yeah. when I was much younger, I I didn't know that. I didn't know that if somebody asked you for 100K, better give them the one that you know you can give, give them, them that yeah. they, if they don't return, you will not be angry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's how I solved that. But yeah, mm-hmm. those are my two things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Ruger, yes, sir. what would you say is the biggest misconception about you? Oh. <laughs> that, oh. All my questions always they shock you. What's going on? You're telling about your bad. I'm, I'm bad. bad. So Tony you know I'm the bougie one, the right? Yeah? You know yeah, I'm the bougie, yeah, the bougie one. one yeah, yeah. So wait, you don't see no bougie in me? No? <laughs> Am I not bougie? I see bougie in you. Gives, I you see bougie in me? That one said that. He's my guy. He's good. Shout out to you, Buju Benson. Okay. Oh, my guy, bro. Team Buju, yeah. Let's Team go. Team Buga. Okay. <laughs> team both parties. Yeah, mm-hmm. actually, team both parties, mm-hmm. for real. <laughs> but but yeah. maybe more Rugasha. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> you. It's Come tough. on. Well, yeah. I can't tell me your well, misconception. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know I do you. <laughs> so, yeah, major misconception, <laughs> baby. People just say this thing of me being arrogant and all of that. Mm. Mm-hmm. You give that vibe to me, Sha. To you, definitely. But I, but me, <laughs> I'm not trying to debunk anything that mm-hmm. anybody says about me. Mm-hmm. Meet me in person and see. I, I love don't, that. I don't, I don't care. No need for mm-hmm. shall I? I don't care. You're actually a vibe. And I'm glad that, you know, I got to meet you on the show. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't seem prideful. To Can me. Actually you seem real. You said so what? You, you Other know, places. We know each other better. 
Where? Which other place do you want to Clubs, go? maybe? Yeah, clubs and anywhere. Yeah. Where's anywhere? Huh? Where's Where? anywhere? Any hey, sounds no. like a jealous Where's girlfriend, do. So all that said, there's <laughs> nothing going on here. Oh, thank you. CC, I know the Chris. I know it's how they talk. I'm a jealous friend. friend. How about that? So what? We can't be friends? I didn't say people cannot be friends. That's though. what you just said indirectly. You, you can't be a better friend to him than I am. Uh, I'm fine. You know, I'm a surface <laughs> level kind of friendship anyway. I don't want too much in a friendship. <laughs> Hi, bye. What's good? What's up? That's my kind of friendship. Uh, so, yeah. I like that. Okay. So, it's time to do Song of the Week. Song of the Week. Who do you guys think is going to be Song of the Week? Like, really? Like, come on. Like, it's who? only right. <laughs> it's only right for us to let you guys know who the Song of the Week is. We have... Ruga featuring Buju. Mm-hmm. Title of the song is Romeo, Romeo Must Die. Must die. <laughs> so, how, so wait, like how did that collaboration come about? Come about? Like how? Who called who first? Yes. Who called who first? Who said you know what? Fuck this Fuck beef. The beef. Let's, Let's do song together. Dick. Come on. Let's collaborate. Who? Who was mature enough to call who first? I don't know. I don't know why I feel like a gay Drusha. I think it's him. Hmm. Who? Oh, you think it's me? I, I don't know. I could Buju. be wrong, but like it's some, Buju. somebody was more strategic. Someone had to say, you know what? We can yeah. make money together. Who? And who was it? We had like mutual friends. Okay. So, okay. yeah. So it was a mutual was. friends yeah. that now said you were both. But who Give us more place information now. You're not no, no, no. See, no worry, no worry. See, there's some... The corner. <laughs> like I said, we had mutual friends. Like so you had, put, so what, they forced you guys to come we together. Had a mutual Who friend agreed that, first? Somebody must have agreed. We had yeah. a mutual friend that could put that kind of thing together, and we always Who listen. Me what? We listen to that person. Bayan. You don't know the person. No one again. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. <laughs> BTS. But but it's just an innocent conversation. Why can't you just say it? Like who was my choice to say? Let's put the beef aside. No like, no no. no. Like I said, we had somebody in the middle mm-hmm. that we are really good friends with. Mm. That both that of called us together okay. and said that this person we will always answer to him. Oh, he's our, I get he's it. Our so guy. it's like a like- <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. You guys don't know him. You guys might know him, but I know he doesn't. He doesn't like being. <laughs> Um, he's not yeah. in the music scene like that or he no, is. No, he doesn't like... He is in the music scene, but he doesn't like... <laughs> Whiskey. Hmm? Whiskey. <laughs> oh, my God. Too Punch. Too fast. Too fast. Yeah, it's portable. Tony, 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 you must. It's free apple. That's what you want to hear. Skepta. <laughs> I said it's portable. <laughs> that was a big portable. Okay, fine. Kala. Anyway, shout out to you and your Ita. amazing song. Yeah, yeah. Thank God, oh, whoever <laughs> puts the beef aside, whether I you, whether I put you, are grateful because it is fantastic yeah. music and that's what we absolutely love on yeah. Bad and Bougie. Mm-hmm. It's a Bad and Bougie song and it's definitely Bad and Bougie song of the week. Thank you so Congratulations much. Congratulations to you. All right. guys so it is time for who fumble okay so ruga you know this is a freshly new segment we've only mm-hmm. done it one time before you <laughs> so it's kind of nice you that like, you're actually you actually like, here like we cheated, cheated on you cheated on because me. we did it be- before yes. you have you on the show oh yeah sorry <laughs> no vex how can i cheat on you just like thinking about your girlfriend's <laughs> ex like, the, who are the people your girlfriend has done things with? You've already pretty much spoken about what we're talking about. So, <laughs> so basically, uh-huh. yeah, this week, the person who we think has fumbled mm-hmm. is, well, we're not really sure whether it's copy or whether it's her ex, Sha. But basically, let me just set the, um, you know, the story mm-hmm. straight. So basically, she shared that, you know, she can never really run into her exes because her exes can never really be at places that she shows up at. <laughs> You know, and then interestingly enough, uh-huh. her ex, her recent ex, Ryan Taylor, the white boy. I think that's his name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just call him the white boy, Sha. Not being racist. It's Ryan anything. Taylor, right? But Ryan him. Taylor, <laughs> who lives in Dubai. Yeah, who's like a bike rider, be something. Something fast, Sha. they do fast cars, fast <laughs> bike. <Yeah. laughs> he Sha said, "Well, not me." Mm-hmm. You know. So he um, said. 
Yeah, that's what he said. Mm-hmm. Me personally, I think he's just capping. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> for real. Do you know who is Raya's father? I think he's rich too as well, though. I bet mean, who is his father? I don't know who his father is, but like, I think he's rich too. See, do you know something about being rich? Mm-hmm. There's a difference between being rich and you have father's money, family wealth, generation wealth, and you have money that you just made like yesterday. Correct. But then, you also have to carry yourself like someone who has wealth as well, because that's where disrespect comes in. Thank if you. If you do not carry yourself like someone who is from wealth, disrespect will penetrate. And I know some people will sort of say that that is the vibe that copy tends to give. I think sometimes I for, I, for, I think copy forgets who she is. Yes. Or maybe she doesn't know who she is sometimes because you don't need to talk about certain things. Sometimes silence is the best answer. Just like your presence can do the speaking, to be fair. Well, what's your take on it, baby? I'm not close to copy. Mm-hmm. I love her. Mm-hmm. We love her too. But like, what, I, what, what, what I'm going to say about it, I'm not going to talk about their relationship. I'm going to talk about like the whole situation generally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's Exes, your take on that? Exes calling mm-hmm. out. Exes. Yeah, exes. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel it's very unnecessary. Mm. It's only a person that is pained that will do that. True. I agree. Do you understand? So like I saw in the comment section where they were saying, oh, he is pained, but no, nah, I don't think he's the one being pained by re- replying, though. Mm-hmm. Mm. The person that started it is maybe, the one that's the actually one that, pained. That, that's actually pained. So, but you know, sometimes when you see somebody, like especially an ex, you know, mm-hmm. because because it's you know matters of the heart, you see the person is Miss Yanni, mm. just like. Bitch, I also yeah, think that happened. You know what though? I, I feel like maybe happened. that's where that's he, why he, he re- that's he why he did that. Yeah, both of them just really understand social media. Mm. I think Copy was really strategic when she was tweeting that because she knew that there was a possibility of that he, he would respond. That he would respond. And he's also smart as well. He's a YouTuber, right? So he mm. understands that if he says something, blogs will pick it up. Mm. So it's also a way to bring traction to your brand. Mm. Copy tweeting that was very intentional because she knew that she didn't have to do it. True. But she did. And I even now feel like she sort of even brought more awareness. We now remember this true. <laughs> Get that this boy. Yeah, so it's true. She was engaged though. Yeah. See, the one where they pay me pass. She be like she said you have full chest on her mm. post. Mm-hmm. The one where they pay me pass. Now the ones where they drop quotes. Go! <laughs> see, yo, yo, see, because me, I don't unfollow my exes. Mm. Really? So yeah. you have good good relationship relationships with your exes? Because I, because I always feel like what? Why should Why? we unfollow each other? You have to see me being successful. I, I, want to I like you. that. You have to see my balls. Toxic rule. You know yeah. Definitely toxic. <laughs> Definitely toxic. You have to see this thing going on. And by the way, yeah. even though you unfollow me, you see me everywhere. Hmm. Not the way you want to do. And now you're a star. You know what I'm saying? It must be hard. You cry that cry away. I must be hard. <laughs> Your exes must be struggling. They are good no worries. Like I said, <laughs> So, like, the ones that... I, I will not say anything, definitely, because me, I don't... I move on quite quickly. Mm. So, the ones that just post quotes, just take quotes from one post and post it, and you can see that they're, you, you are still on their close friends' uh, viewing mm. list, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and they post it on that close friend's viewing list, mm. and you are seeing it. I'm like, Mama, you don't need to talk to me like that. Yeah, so Polo. You, you, know know you know the tricks now. Jesus. So me, I understand that in the so girls have done it to me. Mm. They have said mm. a lot of things, but mm. so, so a lot of girls have called you out. Ah, they have called me out. So how ha- how many hearts do you would you say in the space of twenty twenty two and twenty twenty four have you broken? Hmm. Deep. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> even, Uncountable. Even right now, there are some babes who think they are in a relationship with you right now. Ah. Girl, I've been now. Calm down. They are mine. They're like, this is my man. Wait, wait, wait. But you're not claiming them. <laughs> Why are you not claiming you're not claiming them? them. Why are you not claiming them? Yeah. It's not good. Yeah. It's not good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You love all of them. Exes and all. Uh, Ruga go reach everybody. Ah! At this point. <laughs> no. That's what no. he's giving her. He wow. go reach everybody. But I think, I think, I think, uh-huh. I might end up with one of my exes. Like, mm. Loki. I think. Wasn't it you that tweeted I that said thing? It, yeah. I think I will end up with one of my exes. I think so too. Mm. My it's soulmates true, have so it's one of my exes. It's, it's, it's real. I don't, I don't blame people because especially I think in this, it's, it might it's not be. Easy. It Start might be in the, future, in the future. In the future. Yeah, in the future. Like just now. one of my mm. exes, I'll just meet them and I'll just... Be something will just happen again mm. and we'll just be good again. But it's definitely not going to be one of those ones that I've called you out, Sha. 
with the eh? courts. He's, Even the one that called me on the think it's, there's I a think possibility? It, uh, yeah, there's still a possibility. Okay. I know. Because mm. there's still love there. Still. Love so how exes. do you manage to stay away from controversy? Because I don't see any controversy about Ruger. Eh. Like, women, with women. With women, no. Oh. Eh. I don't see any. Besides him and Buju, that's that. But like women calling uh, you out, I've never seen any. People have said that. To be honest, do you know what? With Ruga, Ruga, I feel, mm-hmm. has always been the person that even started this whole sexualizing performance. But that's not controversy now. It, uh, uh, it is controversial, though. It was, though. How? Because it was amongst the first I people to start it. I think it's because of the women I date. Date? But I, I, do you know, in all honesty, I've not known people that you date. Like, that's, that's what, what I'm, I'm saying. saying like, we don't see it online. Mm-mm. Girls mm. are actually dates. I don't dates. see it online. Yeah. What are they? Are they are they wifey material? Yes, actually. So what is wifey material? They're wife classy, now. man. They must be classy. What is wifey not material? You're dirty linen online. No, I love My that God, for you. God, please don't wash it online, please. Yeah, I God. love it for you. <laughs> what is the wifey? See, like, I'm still begging like, you guys. Like, like, what makes someone? What makes call me out to? What makes someone wifey? I still care about you guys. Oh, what makes someone wifey or girlfriend? Well, let me say this. Let me say this thing first. To all my exes, <laughs> please. You, you see this thing that they are saying now. Uh-huh. They're trying to push you to say something, but I <laughs> love you. I still care about you guys. <laughs> Don't do girl. this. <laughs> let's be you. let's be cool. Let's live in peace. <laughs> hey, yeah, peace. All in peace. <laughs> so continue your, continue your question. But what makes someone wifey? Like well, like what is the wifey material for you, Ruga person? Mm-hmm. Oh me. Yeah. Mm. Ah. So I grew up amongst girls, yeah. The women. Okay. Like you have a lot of sisters. I have two sisters. I'm in okay. the middle of two sisters, my okay. mom. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was really spoiled by my mom. And, and your I, sisters. I never do anything like mm. So I'm you're the, one of those. I'm the one that will go out, come back, just eat. Mm. Hmm. Do you understand? So budget you. Most of the women I've been with, they pamper me. And I like mm. women that pamper me. If you pamper me, ah. Uh, I fall in love too quickly. Okay, so all your exes pampered you. Oh my god! But then you still leave, leave them eh? after two months. You said you leave them after two after months. Two months. I don't say after two months. So what do you say? You get bored I now. I get bored so because what they're pampering you too much. I'm still inside there. I'm still be inside. How ah. toxic! God, <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> Anyway, Please. let's just even just right. wrap up this whole, um, you know, who fumbled. So, what's your take? Do you think that's copy or do you think it's the guy, Ryan, that, that fumbled. fumbled? They both fumbled. They both did, I mean. Yeah, yeah. That's I agree too. That's what fair. about you? Yeah, I agree too. Who They're more than fumbled. who? Or do you think it's a 50 50? 50 50. For me, I feel like it's a 70 30. And the reason is 70 to, to copy. For me, I feel like. Her sort of sharing that just means that you're clearly dating not within your tax bracket. Mm. Because uh, it's you're true dating now. down. It's true now. Like you're dating down in a sense. Think about it. If you feel like people can only show up at certain places because you're dating them, but that means that you're not dating people that individually... <sighs> Uh, I promise you, she just tweeted that intentionally. I don't believe her, man. Really? She was so intentional. But it must be hard for someone like Copy to actually be in a relationship, though. Well, maybe for a man that will stay, but there are men who will be entertained because I think she's quite Would you like to be in a, in a relationship with Copy? Do you think if I relationship is she with someone a, like Copy? Is Copy your type? Do you think if I relationship with Copy? Uh, she's Copy your type. Ruga, is Copy I'm your type? Run up. You go run now, mommy. I go run now. <laughs> He said he wants oh, to be a sugar baby now. He said he wants to be a sugar yes, baby now. Yes, she will take care of you. I'm going to run But now. if Period. you are dating copy, you will be her sugar baby. Are you kidding? Huh? She will take uh, care of you now. They play. You'll be a sugar baby now. We're going to run now. You're going to run now. That was a good one. Absolutely kidding. love it. That was a good one. That was a good one. Ruga, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for inviting thank me. Thank you. Had fun. Big congratulations Big on congratulations. the you know, new label, yeah. you know, your new, new journey. Song. Thank you new so song. Yeah. Thank you so I much. love that, you know, you're maturing and obviously you've reached the stage where, you know, all this beef is not necessary. Let's just be friends. Mm-hmm. Whether it's acquaintance mm-hmm. or whether it's actually besties. Yeah. What do you even say? WOS or what do you call it? Working on something. Mm-hmm. Working on something. I love, I love that. that. Love yes. that you're working and you keep on working and I cannot wait to have you on the show. Keep killing it, okay? Next seasons to come. You know, when, I, when I'm coming next time, I'll come with my family, my, <laughs> my wife and my kids. Oh, hey, man, so by next time you come, you'll be married? Yes. So you, so you want to get married? Someone that has a baby yeah. mama already. I want yeah, to, baby mama. I love relationship. Oh. 
Do you baby mama already? Hmm? Don't hear those ideas. I either hear the baby mama now. Where do you hear that? Don't worry thing? about it. I know the gist. Word on the street. Let's not cast it. Is that the word on the street? When you're ready, you come and talk about it. Bro, you didn't tell me I have a baby. Shh, don't worry, don't worry. Let's, no. let's anyway, not cast it. Let's not cast name, it. No, no. Name your let's baby after it. me. Let's not cast it. Let's not cast it. No way. <laughs> Thank you so much for you guys. It's been it's absolutely love, amazing. Love, 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 love. Thank you for coming. And yes, I guess it's, it's safe for us to say that it's a wrap on this episode of Bad Emoji. Bad Emoji. This is the wrap of what? Episode two. Thank you once again, Ruga. And we will see you next time. With my Thank kids you so much for and watching. And we'll is that with his kids and his wife? <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Love you guys. Mm-hmm.